In a world saturated in opinions, theories, religions, and convictions, we find ourselves always and forever at the center of it all. Despite knowing that the world does not revolve around us, we still can never escape our own perception. A swirl of confident ideas all fighting to convince us that they have the key to life's biggest questions batters us on every side. For those who don't stop to consider or settle for temporary distractions, this windstorm of absurdity can go unnoticed. The ignorant can be happy because they do not see what others see. The more distinctly a man knows, the more intelligent he is, the more pain he has. The man who is gifted with genius suffers most of all. Intelligence is often seen as a gift and touted as something that can lead to great success in life. But true intelligence, the kind that can't be directed at something simple like career success or accumulating money, can be a curse to those who find themselves with it. The pain of being self-aware exists because once you see how the world really works, you realize how meaningless all of the beliefs and opinions are. Many find themselves unable to focus, stick to a career path, or maintain a relationship as well as others who just ignore it all. This can feel incredibly unfair. One might ask, why are those who are ignorant of what is really going on so much happier? How is this fair? In order to turn intelligence and increase self-awareness into a gift rather than a curse, one needs to learn to be guided by their heart. The mind can be incredibly powerful, and thinking is our greatest tool. But a powerful mind without direction is one that will eat itself alive. Profound writer Fernando Pessoa urged us to do just this when he wrote, Could it think? The heart would stop beating. Vitality, love, creativity, all of the things that make us imperfectly but beautifully human have no logical purpose behind them. If we were to dictate our meaning in life by logic alone, we would cease to be humans at all. Society in our logical half directs us at the world outside of us to find happiness. From media to narcotics, the world is an ocean of distractions and false promises, and our brains have no way to distinguish what is right for us. It is in our heart, in getting in touch with the emotional and creative side, that we can begin building a compass to navigate the outside world. A man who, as a physical being, is always turned toward the outside, thinking that his happiness lies outside him, finally turns inward and discovers that the source is within him. This can be difficult in a world that always has a boot on our backs, pressing us down into what it says we should do. To free ourselves from culture, tradition, and history is an incredible burden, but it is the only path to freedom. Your existence itself is not something that needs to be justified by some supreme purpose. It is justified in your construction of your own free purpose. The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. This path requires a warning. Because with increased intelligence comes an increased ability to do harm to others or to trick yourself. Some relief from the pain of self-awareness may be found in the confidence to carve your own path, but this shouldn't come at the cost of other people. He who fights with monsters should look to it that he himself does not become a monster. When you gaze long into an abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. Nothing on earth consumes a man more quickly than the passion of resentment. Become who you are. Part of what drove many of these thinkers to adopt their own versions of affirming a life that was painful was of course their increased intellect. They could not just distract themselves or find joy in leisure and social events. They felt compelled to take their pain head on and pursue their questions to the end of the earth. Don't be ashamed of your wild thoughts. We all act like we are put together, organized, and on top of our stuff. But let's be honest with each other for once. We are not. Every day is a struggle to stay on task and to do what we're supposed to do, not what we want to do. And this can drive any person a little mad. You should embrace the things that make you just a touch crazy. The things that you are drawn to, that you get sucked into and it feels like time stands still. Your chaos is the forge for a better life. Hopefully we have helped you gain the confidence to start taking seriously the idea that you have something special. That you could perhaps turn the pain of intelligence into a gift. So go find your own sense of happiness and help others find theirs. 
Perhaps in this, we can create a world where more people can be proudly and openly themselves. There is only one day left, always starting over. It is given to us at dawn and taken away from us at dusk. What do you think? Are you frustrated by questions that no one else seems to be asking? If so, how have you dealt with that? Share your thoughts in the comments below. It's the only way we can come to really understand each other. So start talking. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel for more. It helps us immensely. Visit the link in the comments to see how you can become a member of our community and support the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.